all oh, right, gonna show you more uh, insanity out of the charismania movement. This time you have a charismatic false prophet. There's so many charismatic false prophets out there, it's ridiculous. And the charismatic movement needs to be exposed. That's why I spend time on this wicked cult movement known as the charismatic Pentecostal word of faith movement. Because they need to be exposed. They're deceiving people through their false miracles and false gifts of the Holy Spirit. The, the counterfeiting of the gifts of the Holy Spirit that were for the Jewish people. Again, Exodus chapter 4 verses 28 to 30. To 30. Exodus chapter 7 verses 3 to 5. Uh, Joel chapter 2 verses 28 to 31 or 32 Joel chapter or sorry Acts chapter 2 verses 16 to 21 first Corinthians 1 22 first Corinthians 14 22 Matthew chapter 10 verses 5 to 8 scripture after scripture after scripture shows that the sign gifts were for the Jewish people but the charismatic cult movement wants to uh, control people like any cult leader would like any Pope would and fake the gifts of the Holy Spirit and make false prophet prophecies to deceive people and uh, one video I showed, I showed this one uh, Todd White was coming out and denying that gifts of the Holy Spirit or, you know, miracles can be counterfeited by Satan. And, you know, because they're trying to validate their false gifts. But this time you have this delusional, charismatic false prophet who is declaring that Trump would return power by June 23rd. And guess what? It didn't come to pass. So he's a false prophet. But going to show you that this, you can't even make this stuff up, but this is the corrupt fruit that comes out of the wicked charismatic movement. So it says, uh, this is from Protestia, delusional charismatic prophet about to have a reckoning after declaring Trump will return to power by June 23rd. But guess what? It didn't come to pass. And Joe Biden, Jesuit Joe Biden is still in power. A self-proclaimed prophet who seemingly forgot about forgot the cardinal rule of charismatic uh, chinery, chinery, again, you know, not the best at reading on a computer, uh, to never set a date, has gone ahead and done just about that, declaring that they would be dancing in the streets on account of Trump returning triumphantly to office to the office of presidency by June 23rd. Well, guess what? It didn't come to pass. So, guess what? He's a false prophet. The remark was made by Jeff Jensen, who we featured less than a month ago after being fired from the ministry he founded on account of leaving his wife and family and other, quote, unscriptural and unbiblical behaviors. Uh, now in a video posted to his Facebook page, Jensen explains, this is what he says, quote, President Trump will be addressing the GOP, the grand old party, the, the GOP convention, uh, GOP, and the nation. Watch what happens, as I said by spring, which officially which starts officially June 23rd, will be dancing in the streets. The Trump administration is on its way in. The pedophilia Biden administration, the fake administration, Biden's administration is on its way out. I don't care if you like it or not, it doesn't matter. We all know what, what took place, and God is going to do something amazing in this nation, and though it, this nation and through this nation, it's revival times, it's revolution time. Now, I agree, Joe Biden definitely has some really perverted stuff he does with his granddaughter. I, I do agree with that. You, know, you, you could def most definitely call it the pedophilia administration. But uh, it's a false prophecy because guess what? Trump didn't return to office. Jensen is perhaps uh, best known for being a bold speaker in defense of Donald Trump. He falsely prophesied that Trump would, re would win re-election. So he's a doubly false prophet, double false prophecies. Uh, and when he didn't, he declared. And when he didn't, declared Trump would be recognized in heaven as the legitimate president of the United States, and that God would soon remove Joe Biden from office and reinstate, reinstate Trump with the help of a military coup. Well, guess what? The one happened on January 6th, the Jesuit psyop on January 6th, and nothing happened. The CIA Jesuit psyop. Naturally, his followers have been uh, inundated by his repeated wrong prophecies and, and gutted personal life, commenting on the post. Yeah. Uh, we look forward to seeing how he tries to weasel out of this one. It's ridiculous. These kind of, of wicked false prophecies and false prophets in the charismatic movement are just constantly spewing out their false prophecies and lies and deceits. Let me show you some scripture on the subject of these wicked false prophets. Isaiah chapter 30 verses 10 to 11. Uh, actually, let me let me go to the start of verse nine. Isaiah chapter thirty, verse nine to eleven. Uh, that, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, uh, which say unto the hearers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, and prophes prophesy deceits. Get get you out of the way and turn aside, turn aside out of the path 
caused the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Perfect description of these charismatic false prophets. Prophesy unto us smooth things, deceits. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 31. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the peace priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so, and what will ye do in the end thereof? Now I understand talking about Israel, but my, my people love to have it so. You can kind of draw a comparison with the charismatic movement. They like to hear this kind of stuff. They love it that it's so. Why do you think they even listen to these false prophets, even though they're repeatedly wrong in their prophecies? You know, again, talking about Israel, but you can apply it to the charismatic movement. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse number 14. Uh, then said the Lord unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing, not, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. Exactly. Uh, yeah, there's, there's that. There's also Jeremiah chapter 23, down to, I think it's verse... Yeah, here it is. Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 30 to 32. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues, and say, He saith. A lot of the charismatics out there. Behold, I am against them, that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies, and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. That's the bottom line. These charismatic false prophets are not profiting anybody but their own pockets, because they get lots of money sent to them. So that's simple. Love of money is the root of all evil. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. That's the, that's the corrupt fruit of these wicked, charismatic, false prophets. They're, they're prophesying lies and deceit. They're being ruled by their means. They're prophesying not right things, but smooth things to their people. Don't be deceived by this wicked, charismatic movement and these charismatic, false prophets out there. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.